Right, this is what we're going to be making today, this beautiful spanakopita, a beautiful Greek dish of spinach and feta and tomatoes, all wrapped up in this beautiful phyllo pastry. Right, come on, let's get cooking. Okay, to kick off our spanakopita, uh, we're going to show. I'm going to show you the ingredients. We've got 200 grams of spinach, um, some homemade butter, three eggs, phyllo pastry, three cloves of garlic. We've got some feta here, a red onion, spring onions, and two rather ripe tomatoes. We're going to start by making the filling. We're just going to start obviously with the spinach. So we're going to pop the spinach into the colander and then wilt it with some boiling water. So let's turn our kettle on and get the spinach out of the bag. Right, let's start by popping our spinach into this colander. going to probably have to do this in a couple of batches because that is only 100, 120 grams and let's wilt that with some boiling water for the next load of spinach. Once you've done that, that's, that's how much spinach you get out of that colander. So I've wilted it and I've squeezed the excess water out of it and we'll put that in a bowl now. Right, so here are our two lots of spinach, that's all that's left of this. What we're going to do is slice it chop it rather and then as we put it into the bowl we'll just gently pull it apart and this is what it's um, turned out like yeah right now let's uh, get the rest of the ingredients all prepared right then with our spring onions And then in with our beautiful chopped up ripe tomatoes. And now for our red onion and our three cloves of garlic. Pop that in there. And just the feta to go. Now all that's left to do is crumble our feta cheese into the rest of the ingredients so we'll just prise this open and we'll try not to eat too much of it before before I actually get it into the bowl that's my challenge rightio get this out wipe my hands and I'm just going to cut off wedges that allow me to crumble. Once I've crumbled, I'll come back. No, oh, no. My whole recipe is crumbling around me. Um, right, so mix this all through. Like this. Once you've got it combined, you can add your eggs. Now, as our eggs all beaten up, we're also going to add some salt. Only a tiny grind there because the fish is quite salty in itself. And obviously some pepper. We don't have any hot parts in there at all. So 
kettle will complement it quite nicely. At this point we're going to go and do our phyllo pastry. So that means turning on the oven um, and we'll turn it on to 160 degrees for about 30 minutes. Okay, so it is time. I, I can't avoid it any longer to do something with the phyllo pastry. So let's get our olive oil over there. Oh, this has got cellar tape on it. Be back. Right, so there we are. We've got the um, we've got the phyllo all laid out there. There you go, you should be able to see better now. So, again, we're, we're making this nice and moist to stop it from breaking up. It's going to break up. So, I don't know whether you can work it out, but I this is the part of the recipe I really detest. It's because I'm so bad at it. So, let's get our first piece. Ah, oh, it's going to break up. Oh, dear. This is what you can expect. Now, don't get too disheartened. You know, it is going to... It is going to do this to you. But the good thing is, as long as you've got that oil on there, so I'm not going to oil the second knot because see how it's soaking up from the layer underneath. This is this is just breaking up really, really <laughs> easily now. So. be really difficult so I'm just gonna put jobs of olive oil here otherwise I'm gonna end up with a swimming pool of olive oil and I don't want that right let's get this so oh, dear me The good thing is, this is probably as bad as it gets. Oh, got it off. Yeah. So. <laughs> okay. Now, let's put the filling in, and I'll come back once I've put it in. Right. That's all the mixture in. Let's just spread it out a bit. It, it looks absolutely divine actually. Right, now this pastry that looks like it doesn't have a purpose, just bring it into the middle and just pat it down. It doesn't, it doesn't really matter, you're not looking for a particular pattern. Every time you make this, this top texture will be different. Rightio, let's get this into the oven. Um, I reckon around about 30 minutes, but I'm going to have a peak at 25. Let's put it in the oven. I'm going I'm to put it right at the bottom of the oven too. And there you have it straight out of the oven. Let's get it onto a plate and taste it, shall we? Right, let's um, get a little knife and fork. Oh, oh, I love this part of cooking. I really do. Right. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, wow. Oh, my. That is beautiful. Mmm. Well, thank you so much for watching. You're going to love making this. It's just beautiful. I will catch you on the next recipe. Until then, stay safe and please, please try some of these recipes. The last two or three in particular have been absolutely gorgeous. Right, see you soon. Thank you.